This is a video about archaeology. The word itself evokes images of buried treasure, ancient curses, and the stereotype of a pith-helmeted scholar poking around in the jungle. But archaeology is very different, and we want to explore how it is different. We also want to delve into how archaeology is a scientific inquiry about our human past, no matter how old that past might be. Archaeology is perhaps best thought of as the study of past ways of life. It involves the quest for cause and effects explanations of human behavior over centuries and millennia in an effort to gain an understanding with a potential to help us understand the present itself. Because archaeology is basically concerned with people, it forms an important subdivision of the social science of what we call anthropology. In short, anthropology is the study of human culture at large. What archaeologists recover are the material remains of what people left and the things that have been preserved for us to find. So archaeology is about material culture and the aim is to reconstruct what we can about people who made, used, and left the material clues we can find. Like modern settlements, the remains of past settlements, that is archaeological sites, are all around us. Some may be ancient, while others still may be in use. This is the story of an archaeological investigation. Well, it is about an investigation performed by archaeologists, but it is focused on something called historic preservation. The archaeologists are not working with a monument such as Stonehenge or the Great Pyramids of Egypt, but rather a landmark of a city called Tempe in Arizona. The Hayden Flower Mill lies at the roots of Tempe's history. The city of Tempe recognized a few years ago the significance of this landmark when the public reacted to news that the mill might be torn down as part of redevelopment. The mill sits on a portion of a prehistoric Hohokam site, so there are several components that the archaeologist will study. The mill and its history and architecture, as well as a prehistoric culture that occupied the area well before Tempe was founded. This is a story, therefore, of a study of the past and how that study will help preserve that past through a better appreciation of what can be extracted from the historical and archaeological records. The study will be a scientific inquiry since archaeology is a social science. Science often is thought of as a process of discovering things that lead toward a final truth. Truth could be our understanding that gravity exists even though we can't see it. We can discover things about it as a property through experiments, however. The idea, however, that we discover truth through the accumulation of knowledge is not a totally good definition of science. Science is not a heartless pursuit of objective information. It is a creative human activity that leads to changes in the theories of how things work and how things were. We must remember that science results from creative imagination of people who are interested in discovering something and thereby understanding that something. In a sense, it is hard to define science in simple terms. It is best thought of as a way to think about how one pursues an inquiry about something that we really do observe in front of us. Victoria Vargas, the principal investigator for the Hayden Flower Mill Project, explains her views of science this way. It uses hard science methodologies it's our interpretation is from a social scientist standpoint. But we use scientific methodologies, set up our research questions. The whole hypothesis building scenario is not as prevalent in archaeology as it used to be. Um, that's a very systems approach. And it's not something that is, is practiced as, as frequently now. However, we still are guided by the same principles. We just don't necessarily set up a null hypothesis that we have to knock down. What we do is set up the research questions, use very scientific methods. What data do you need? What data can you get? 
What analysis techniques can you use? Schist analysis, palynology, geomorphology, all of that. Very rigorous scientific analytic methods, hard data results. Spin that into the human-based issues we're trying to address. That's subjective. You bring your basic lines of evidence and you interpret them. Your interpretation is always up for reinterpretation. A new piece of evidence walks in the door. Your data, hopefully, is sound because it's based on scientific principles, the way it's gathered, the way it's analyzed, to the best of our ability and technology at that time. If the data doesn't support your interpretation, it'll be knocked down. We will see, as we explore the nature of the research design and goals for the project, how questions are defined and how these then, in turn, guide the fieldwork. This is what leads to the discovery of the clues that will help researchers answer questions posed in the study. Archaeology is not only science, but also a means by which to help preserve the past for future generations. There are different aspects that we want to understand. What is the historic preservation itself? How does it relate to a community such as Tempe? And what is our responsibility to preserve the past through preservation of historic buildings and archaeological sites in some cases? Yet the archaeological study of the Hayden flour mill area will help to preserve information that the researchers can pull together on the mill itself and the archaeological site that lies beneath the mill. Again, Victoria Vargas helps us better understand how archaeology is also historic preservation. Historic preservation is preserving the human story in a tangible form. That is the information that can be read, the site that can be visited at times, the building that can be touched and viewed and reused and kept, photographs. Historic preservation is more than we want to make sure the color of this wall paint on the exterior of this building is appropriate for the time period and when it was built. It's about reminding us where we came from and carrying that vision with us, appreciating it today. It's a part of who we are and carrying it into the future. Community has identity. You wipe out those historic monuments, those who's like the Sphinx or whatever. You demolish the historic sites, the archaeological sites, all of them. You tear down the buildings. A community's sense of identity is lost. We're starting to recognize the value of our own history and the history that came before we landed here and a responsibility to preserve that knowledge for the future generations. Thank you.